What's up YouTube? Today we've got a very special video. We're reviewing the Samsung S22 Ultra. Up next. From the S8 we had the S9, 10, 20, 21, and now coming to 22. So five years of upgrades. And I think we should notice a big increase in performance, screen size, display refresh rate, camera quality, everything. Everything should, it should be a big, big difference. Now don't get me wrong, in the year 2022, a Samsung S8 is still relevant and it's still a really good phone. Better than other, like the A32, the A21, the A22, all those sub models, the S8 is still higher than those but the s22 ultra is a mixture between the note and the regular s series so i'm kind of excited to show you guys a little bit of quality as far as photos video uh gameplay with the phone using the little s pen so stay tuned now on the left we have the samsung s8 and the samsung s22 ultra pictures and you guys will let me know down in the comments what you think looks better, which one looks better, the S8. As you can see here, we have the S8 video. So it's shooting video right now, the S8 in 4K, the S22 in 4K. Here we have the S22 using the ultra wide lens, so it's 0 0.06 times. That's what it says on the phone. Now we have the regular lens, so it's just a 1.0, so it's just a regular lens, and it looks really, really good as well. I'm really surprised with the camera quality, especially coming up from like a S8 or like a GoPro or anything like that. Now we have the three times lens, so it's zoomed in three times. And like I said, the quality just doesn't change. It's really good, captures everything very well. It's overall really great, really great cameras all around. Now we have the 10 times lens. So this one zooms in 10 times. As you can see, even though it's really zoomed in, it still captures good quality. So it's definitely very good. As you can see here in this video, zooming into the to the basketball po uh, post, really good. So here we have a front-facing selfie camera, video, and as you guys can see, the difference in quality on the left, you're gonna see the Samsung S8 quality, and on the right, you're gonna see the Samsung S22 Ultra quality recorded in the highest setting possible so let me know what you guys think about it as you can see here just a little bit of gameplay with some rocket league side swipe and uh, everything i had it full settings as high as they would go and I was remember I was screen recording and playing at the same time so very well now we're playing car x drift max settings I had to mute out the audio on this one because of the copyright from the music but I have it max settings, so it's, it's still recording and playing at the same time so keep that in mind it's really good it's a very good very good uh, processor that it's using Okay, now we're playing No Limit 2 Racing, so it's like a drag racing game for all my uh, gearheads out there, for all the people that like cars and stuff like that. I definitely, definitely recommend this game. But as you can see here, it's like fast paced, and obviously the game doesn't have the best of graphics, but I do have everything up there, and it played very well as I recorded the gameplay. You gotta keep that in mind. So overall, it's doing quite a bit of things and it still performs very well no glitches no nothing 
So as you guys can see with the pen, there's pretty much a whole, a whole lot of things you can do with it. You can write on the screen. So it'll take a screenshot and then you kind of write on it or draw or color, whatever you want to do. See, got all these choices. Choose your color, choose the, whatever you want to do. It's pretty precise. Or we can discard it. And uh, you can you can color. So you've got things that you can color with. Get rid of that. You can choose your stencil. And then you get to get to color with it see like here now, I'm not much of an artist so forgive my ugly coloring <laughs> but uh, yeah there's a whole bunch of things you can do for all the creative people out there and it's really accurate as well so I mean there you go can you erase it Like I said, you can even like do a smart select. Smart select, you choose something and it crops it out. Um, so translate, I guess you can do that. Stuff explanatory. But yeah. See, I mean, it's pretty cool. So as you guys can see, the S22, in my opinion, is a really good upgrade. Way better than the S8. Like I said, in its time, the S8 was like the best thing out there, best in the market, and it was really good. Now in 2022, there are better phones out there. If you've got the money to spend it, get the S22, or get the S21 FE, or the S20 FE. They're still pretty good in 2022. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a comment down below and let me know. Like it, leave a comment, let me know what you guys thought. And we'll catch you on the next one.